Hey, what's up, guys? Big Time Collector 01 here, back here with another action figure review. And today, we'll be taking a look at the Mattel Masters of the Universe Revolution Masterverse Snake Sorceress Tila. I'm really excited for this one. I have no idea, like, any context behind this at, at all because I haven't seen Revolution yet. But, um, I really just, when I saw the figure you know, the figure get, like, announced with images and all that, I was just so, like, I like the design a lot, I really like the design, I can see myself posing the figure, like, in really some dynamic poses and really good poses, so that's what made me want to get this figure, even though I have no idea, like, how Tilo becomes like this, but I'm very excited nonetheless, it's some really nice artwork on the front, some really nice artwork on the side. On the back, you get some product shots. You get a really nice headshot of Snake Sorcerer's Tila. And then you get, you know, a bio. Then you get other figures from the wave. I do, I've seen that these are hitting targets. The only figures I have from this wave are Sorcerer's Tila and Battle Armor Skeletor. I do want Man of War and Merman. We'll get those at some point in time. Get the barcode at the bottom. Not Masters at the top, and that's really it. So let's get to it and crack her open. And before we take a look at the figure, let's take a closer look at her accessories. Out of the package, she comes with these two gripping hands. That way she can hold her staff or her snake staff. You can just, you know, put it into the hands like so. Just, you know, it looks the staff looks cool. It's definitely made out of, like, this more thicker plastic. The top is more pliable and rubbery. It does look, you know, work, but it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to look like that. But if you like, you can pop these out. She also comes with these pairs of these open hands, which look nice. You know, it would have been nice if she came with some fists, but these are a good option as well. She also comes with this really cool-looking effect. As you can see, it's like a snake mouth. It's got yellow open, you know, eyes. Yellow eyes, an open mouth, you got teeth. It's made off with this, you know, soft rubbery material, so, you know, it won't break. It's supposed, it doesn't slide over the hand, as you can see, that that's just a big gap. You're supposed to wrap it around her arm, then have it displayed like that. So that looks really nice. And now, let's take a closer look at the figure. Starting off with the head, I do like it. It looks nice. The headdress looks really nice. It's painted very well and clean. It looks nice on the back, as you can see there's some gold. My one main criticism with the figure is is the head sculpt. I mean, it's a good looking head, but I don't like the facial expression. Like, I wish she came with some alternate heads. Because if you look at the, at the packaging, she's got like some really fun facial expressions. As you can see, she's kind of smiling or smirking there on the back with the headshot. I wish we had a head that looked like this with her mouth open to show off those fangs. That would have been a really cool head sculpt option over this, you know, blank or bland expression. But I'm I'm not really going to complain. It's still a nice head sculpt that's done really well. And the headdress, or at least the bottom of it, is a rubbery material, so it won't get in the way of articulation, yet it still will. Moving down to the rest of the outfit or the figure, it looks good. I really do like the outfit of the figure. It looks very, you know, kind of Egyptian, if that's the right way to say it. I don't know. But it looks cool. It looks really cool. I really do like it. As you can see, this belt over here is painted gold. It's painted nicely all the way around. Get some gold accents on the arms. Get these scales up here at the top of her shoulders, which look nice. And then at the rest, then the rest of the figure is just basically just bland green. But that's cool, you know, it's just a very simple design. A thing I really like about the figure, I didn't expect myself to like it so much, is the tail or the skirt or whatever this is. It looks really cool. Like, it's, it was like a, you know, every sh uh, product shot or, or even on the packaging really, like, made light to this thing. And I thought it was going to be way too short, but I love how long it is. And it's a, it's a cloth, you know, you know, it's cloth, so it won't get in the way of articulation. Moving on to articulation, starting off with the head. I can't tell if it's a, oh, that's a dumbbell joint. It's on a dumbbell joint. It, you can, it can't really look up that much. It can't look, it can look down a little bit. It can rotate, actually, it can rotate it all the way around, surprisingly. And you get some tilt, 
shoulders move up that much, they move down, they rotate all the way around. She has bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and wrists that rotate and hinge. She has a dumbbell joint in the torso, so it can crunch forward that much, it can move back that much, it can also tilt and rotate it, though it can kick forward that much, or yeah, that much, it can kick back not so much. But a very pleasant surprise with this figure. I, I did not see this figure, uh, this coming with the figure, but she has drop down hinges, which just adds more articulation to the figure. Uh, the legs are kind of, well, this other side isn't that bad, but yeah, she has some drop down hinges. That way you can get some more leg movement, which was a very, very pleasant surprise. I did not expect that from Mattel. She has a thigh cut, double jointed knees, calf rotation, and ankles that move down, they move up, and she has ankle pivot. Measuring Tila out, she comes to around seven inches tall. And here's this snake sorceress Tila. Next to like the regular Tila, or this would be version two in her royal outfit. And here's the snake sorceress Tila next to the green goddess. And as you can see, they look very similar to each other. And here's the snake sorceress Tila up on the rotating base. And I'd say this figure looks pretty cool. It's a, definitely an interesting figure nonetheless. Uh, again, I'm not very familiar with this version of Tila since I haven't seen the show, but I think it's a really cool and striking design. I really like that snake tail. I really like how long it is. Like, playing around with it makes the figure a little more interesting. I like the effect piece. It looks really cool. The snake staff is also done really well. I do wish she came with a little bit more accessories, like... Um, like some fisted hands or at least some clawed hands because on the packaging you can see she had some long nails but I also wish she came with like a different head head sculpt or at least an interchangeable head where she had the fangs showing in her like in her teeth like that would have been a cool like a really cool head sculpt I'm surprised they didn't do that but hey it's good none nonetheless Again, I'm not very familiar with this version of Tila since I haven't seen the show since I can't really, so I can't really talk much about it. About it, but it's a good action figure nonetheless. If you do want this figure, you can find her at um, BBTS. She isn't. I think she's in stock in BBTS. She could be sold out. Could be. I could be wrong. But apparently, this wave is hitting Target shelves right now, which is a big surprise. Usually, Masterverse figures are very slow at that, but. Hey, it's hitting targets. So if you want, so if you want this figure, go to your local target. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.